Hi everyone, my name is Nechama from ARK Intelligence and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the arrange wall command in the environment plugin for Revit. If this is your first time uh, watching this video, so the environment plugin for Revit was created to help us avoid all these complex and repetitive actions when it comes to site design. Um, and in this case, I'm going to demonstrate this command using this situation where we need a wall to support between these two different slopes of a road and a park next to it. And as you can see, I already created the wall regardless of its elevation, uh, top constraint or base constraint, um, I paid no attention to it. Without the environment plugin, I would normally just start stretching each part of the wall or maybe even um, splitting it and then trying to get to the result that I want grading this wall along the slopes. But using this command makes the entire process a lot more faster and smarter. So let's just see how it works. So first we have to go to 3D view because this command only works on 3D view. And the first thing we're going to do is just to select our wall. And then let's go to the environment tab over here to the model element panel and select the arrange wall command. You can see over here the Arrange Walls dialog has, has opened and now we have to define basically the rules for the um, grading of the wall. So let's start with the minimum height of the wall. We're going to define it as let's say one meter. Now it's important to explain the logic of how this works so basically the environment knows uh, to recognize which one of these two surfaces is higher and which one is lower and then it knows to give the uh, the minimum height will be from this point to this point and then the overall height will be these two together so let's define the minimum height as one meter the embedment let's leave it at 50 centimeters i work on uh, the metric system with meters but of course it works by the project units that you already defined now let's define the step offset, which basically means the height between one step and another. Let's take um, 25 centimeters in this case. And the height round off, let's leave it at zero and just take a look and see what happens. Now about the reference surface settings. So basically this command works by identifying some kind of elevation um, in some kind of distance to the wall. So we have to define how far from the wall we want Revit to look. Let's say we want it to look um, 50 centimeters, so over here. So we're gonna leave it like that. Now, usually I will recommend using automatic selection. It works the best. But in case you have a really complex model with um, different layering of surfaces, floors and roofs and you really want to define which surface to relate to then you can use the manual selection <clears throat> and pre-select the surfaces with the wall before applying the command. Let's just click OK and see what happens. So over here you can see the wall is graded nicely along our topographies or surfaces and what you have to remember is that this is still a regular wall so it is very easy for us to go on and keep editing now let's see the elevations over here you can see that the differences are 25 centimeters but the numbers aren't quite as nice as we want it to be it's really hard to construct a wall like that so what we can do is simply select the wall again and again go to environment plugin to the arrange wall command over here and in the arrange wall dialog let's just decide that the height round of will be um, 5 centimeters and then click OK and let's go check our elevations again and now you can see that the elevations are quite nice the number are quite nice and of course as I said before we can easily edit this wall right now to get the result that we want. 
There's just one more feature that I want to show you guys before we finish these explanations. So let's select our walls again and go again to the environment plugin over here to the model element panel and click arrange walls. So in the arrange walls dialog, you can see this little drop down arrow length pattern on. So basically we also have the option to control the different lengths of the parts of the wall and not only the elevations. So we only have to select enable length pattern and then we select the main part. What the main part means is that every part of the wall will be consisting of multiples of the number that you apply over here. So for example, if I select 50 centimeters, uh, every part of the wall will be able to divide in 50 centimeters. And then I want also a leftover. Of course, I can leave it at zero, but I want a leftover of, let's say, 10 centimeters. Now, why do we need it? Um, so this one is really useful in cases you have a certain railing pattern that you want to work with and let's say that my railing pattern is 50 centimeters but I do need the 10 centimeters in the end of each part to have the correct connections of the railing to the wall. Now let's click OK and as you can see it changed our wall again and if we go to a plan view and measure the different parts of the wall that we got, you can see that by default the first part of the wall is the length division left over and for the rest of the parts they all can be divided in 50 centimeters with a leftover of 10 centimeters. This is it, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you want to learn more about the environment plugin for Revit, you're more than welcome to go to our website arcintelligence.com and see the product description for more tutorials.